Okay, so what we're trying to do is take this beautiful old harp, which came out of my uh, family's vintage bin. It took forever to get that thing. Anyway, so we're going to take that there and we're trying to put it up there on that cleat. Now the problem is this thing weighs like a ton. I want to say it's... And it's heavy too. It's heavy, it weighs, and it's heavy. So, yeah, it weighs more than Allen. That's, that's like 105, right? 145. Okay, 145 all muscle. We're going to need every bit of that muscle. And, uh, yeah, so. Yeah, we're going to use our brains. Oh, yes, we're going to use our mental health, our brains. To make this happen, so we've already engineered. I don't know either, but we've already engineered this cleat. See it right here? All right, that's like one of the rails I use in my garage for my drywall sculptures. So, anyway, we're gonna put it like here, pick that up. See, it's got a cleat right here. So, we're gonna pick it up, cleat it. And then we're going to move, put another cleat, and just kind of ladder our way up to that up there. Right? So, and that's about, it's about nine feet up. So when we get through, ideally we're going to have a, um, a sculpture out of this harp from the family vintage piano over the new family which is our weird to say new with vintage but yes we have a vintage mantle that this is going to hang over so uh wish us a luck we're going to time lapse over there on on that one we're going to time out no, anyway fuck it we're going to time lapse over there and uh so we get that and if i uh if i don't make it you'll know why anyway all right bye Lost with a vintage piano hall. All right. Can we get past it? There is a problem. No problem. Should have put, uh, we should have put the cleat on the track system where you, you hook it down here and it just rolls it right up. Yeah. Uh, fuck. That was the It's on. Okay. Hey, so we've made a little progress. As you can see, it's no longer on the floor. It is hanging on the wall. 
right? But guys, this thing's super heavy, super heavy. And so what we're, you know, we're using the cleat system to raise it up and then you have to get around that inch and a half of that two by four up there, right? To get it out then boom. And it's getting so top heavy as we go up. Uh, it's great when it's on the wall. Well, it's not great, but using the wall helps. But as I, I step it up, it becomes a problem. Like uh, it wants to lean out over me and I can't control the weight when it's that heavy, that high over my head. So we put that one cleat, we turned it over, hoping that that 45 degree angle will help the back cleat slide up and over easier so I doesn't have to keep bumping it and I can keep pressure against it to one degree. Um, so we got that, but yeah, that's the plan. And we just got to get it up there yeah, and I'm getting shorter and shorter by the second. So um, we're trying to figure out something to stand on, something to uh, do, but the cleat system's getting it up. It's just, it's me that's having problems getting it up. So uh, I've got to overcome this obstacle. So anyway, yeah, this is where we're at. And um, yeah. But I think I, I, I'm honestly feeling like it's gonna happen. We do have somebody that can be here in like an hour, but that could help. And then I know that could happen with a third person. Um, but I'm just, I really want this done. And yeah, the wall looks all scuffy and bad, but that's fine. I can hang the wallpaper with this thing on the wall. Way easier than trying to deal it with any other way. There's no way I could hung this wallpaper first and then dealt with trying to get this monstrosity up there, even with four or five people, because it would have just tore the wallpaper up. So, we are very close. Wish us luck. Hopefully it's gonna happen soon. When you're not quite tall enough, you build your own platform. Yes. So I can stand on that. Put hands on that. Up I don't know. This could end badly, it could end well. Fun. So, here goes nothing. Yeah, well, actually, here goes everything. There you go. Here goes everything. Okay, so it just goes to show, if you put your mind to it, you can do anything, right? Yeah. So there we go. We're up, we're hanging on the wall, getting the cleats off from behind there, and then I'll, uh, I'll hang the wallpaper now, like, so, so that beast doesn't have to tear it all up. The, end, the wallpaper here is to, uh, is to, I was planning on working, Alan. I thought I was done. I wasn't planning on working. Out one hand. There we go. Anyway, so uh, yeah, the wallpaper is part of the installation, so I'm not too concerned without it being all over the wall. But you know, I can get behind that harp, 
I got some clearance back there. Let's see. And uh, we can do that. But you know, I know this I know this other paper hanger who's actually probably a little bit better than me. Believe it or not. I know. And uh, but he's real, real uh, eccentric. So I think I'm gonna give him a call. I think he, I think he's better suited for this. Anyway, know your limits and know when to call another pro. That's right. Or if you are like a fucking homeowner, call me or another or call you know find you a pro always. Like I, like this. If I'd had knew a pro to do this, I would have called him. But I didn't know one. So anyway, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm almost there. Finally. See, Alan's screwing around at work again. Yeah. At least I'm not screwing it up. Well, you are screwing it up. No, I'm screwing it in. Well, it's up and in. Well, we put it up. Yep. But now, I'm screwing it in. Now you're screwing it in. All right. Lift up first, then screw it. In. Semantics. This is semantics. Semantics. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, you, you might have to do a little mud work before you get any further. Well, we'll see about that. Just a little bit of scratches and stuff. Yeah. It's looking like good. Alright.